Hi, welcome to Cat Gaming. Today we'll be playing Envelope. I feel like you should have the name of your game in the screen, but uh, you know, it's just me. So anyway, with that, let's just jump on the game. Ooh, another day at work. I sure as hell hope I can find another job soon. This job sucks, <laughs> don't they all? All right, it's 11.57, I better get in there. Even though this job sucks, I've never been late. Better keep it that way. That's a good uh, way to do stuff. Oh, nice car. <laughs> that car I've got. Um, I like the addition of the stars. It's good. Uh, good design. Yeah. Well, I can't say I've ever worked in a gas station before, but it doesn't seem that bad if you're doing a night shift, right? Or is a night shift worse because you've got like weird drunk people turning up? Well, I think they're not driving drunk, but you know what I mean. Like accessory store. All right. <laughs> Sure. Does that look like blood? Like, oh, there's no pointer. Uh, that looks like blood, right? You know, <laughs> just regular old like city blood. All right. And another patch of questionable blood. It could be rust, but it's a little too crimson to be blood for my liking. Hello. Good evening. On time as usual. Glad to see it. Yeah, I'm like that. I, uh, <laughs> Because I have ADHD, I would struggle to be on time, so I have to make a big effort to be on time. So, like, I'm always on time, if not early, because I have to spend the whole day making sure I'm not late, you know. Put on your cap and get to work. Uh, you don't have a cap on. Just gonna throw that out there. Restock what needs restocking. Take out today's trash. Clean the floor, table, the usual stuff. I've written a to-do list for you in the storage room in case you forget anything. Thanks. Objective. Pick up your work cap from your locker. Uh, like I said, you do not have a cap on yourself. I feel like it's rules for y <laughs> thee, but not for me. Yeah. Objective, pick up soda cans. Okay. Only six. Restock soda. Oh, he's gone. Pick up mop and clean the floor. A lot of these horror games like making you do like actual work. I'm close to the store. Can't. For real, like, I don't know what the, the trend is, but like, you know. <laughs> I don't want to do work in my spare time. <laughs> Every horror game's like, no, you must do more cleaning. I hear someone coming in. That's fine. Hello. I also can't help notice that the manager left the cleaning for me to do, like... Ah... Uh, well, hello. Um, hey. I just want this chocolate bar. Okay. Pick up the money. Sure. Bye. How did he get here? I'm gonna follow you out. Ah... Uh, did you... Oh, he's teleported. Shit. So yeah, like I was saying, like, I don't mind, like, the guy not mopping if, like, you know, if it's a general clean, but it does seem like he left all the mopping for us to do. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, I guess it wasn't blood then. Well, at least I hope it wasn't blood. Also, how did all this mess happen? Like, a lot of mess. I feel like this door could do with a safety screen as well, or at least like a fold down wooden barrier or something. Throw old newspaper, take out trash, clean table. All right. Take out trash. Oh. What the hell was that? I don't know. What was that? I just heard a very subtle thud, like someone was knocking. Could be somebody. <laughs> Check the lockers behind you. Nah, it seems fine. Take out trash, clean table. Just the one trash? Okay. <laughs> so, just to throw it into perspective. This character heard a questionable, suspicious knock. And it's just going to take out the trash without investigating at all. Hello. Mumble, mumble. Okay, 
I'll, uh, let's just keep an eye on you. <laughs> let's just run. <laughs> Can I take more than one bag at a time? No. Still there? Mumble mumble? What is that squelching sound? That's a little gross. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just throw the last trash away then. And then clean table. Shouldn't you clean the table before throwing the trash away? So you're putting the table the stuff into the trash? Alright. I feel like that guy oh, another customer is coming in. It's gonna be a red herring, right? It's just too obvious, he's just stood there. Hello. Human. I'd like a hot dog, please. Um, <laughs> for real, who's eating a hot dog from a gas station? That's like, uh, collect hot dog here. Thanks. You know, there's a creepy guy outside, right? I'd stay away from him if I was you. Thanks. I also like, I actually really like the fact that these people are giving me money as well. Do you just disappear as well? Where's your uh, spawn point? There. <laughs> yeah, exactly there. Um, yeah, I like they give me money. A lot of games just kind of you hand an item to someone and then it's like, oh yeah, thanks. And then they just don't pay you. Clean table. I'm gonna need a sponge. I mean, this job seems pretty cushy. It's just like creepy because it's nighttime. Yeah, I've, I've worked night jobs before. Do we have cameras? I'm not sure. Hello, creepy person. Mumble mumble? The letter. What was it about the letter? What letter? Ah? Leave those stains alone. I like them. Fuck. Better leave this guy alone. Yeah. That's when you would have safety. And, uh... Maybe, like, text your boss. That symbol wasn't here earlier? No, it wasn't. Can I check these? I feel like someone's gonna jump out of here. This is the classic horror setup. Oh, shit. Oh, this is... <laughs> Don't like this. I got goosebumps. Uh, hello. Mumble mumble. Oh, I finally remembered what I was supposed to do. Um... Some guy came and gave me this letter and told me to give it to you. He said, it's like really important that you read it and stuff. I want nothing to do with it, man. Just take it and leave me alone. Collect sealed letter. Press one to open the letter. Don't like the fact that guy is like... <laughs> do you need help? Um... <laughs> I feel like he might need help. All right, you open the envelope carefully. Game is called Envelope. The letter reads as following. This letter has hopefully found you safely. You don't know us, plural, and we prefer it this way. We understand that this may come in a, at... <laughs> words. We understand this may come at an inopportune time for you, but the contents of this letter... <laughs> but the contents of this letter may very well decide your future. So I cut my tongue the other day and it's really awkward to speak. Um, there is a task that needs doing, and as you can probably guess by now, you have been selected. Before you throw this letter away, please consider your options. We knew how to find you, which means we know where you live. Uh, so, unless there was an identifying factor, I would feel like this could just be any letter thrown on a desk, like, we know you, and I'm like, sure you do, you just post it through any door, you know. If you wish for your wonderful girlfriend to still be alive in the morning, you do as you're commanded. Near R-E-B-A-50, there is a connect waiting for you. From him, you will receive a gun and a lockpick. Your task is to eliminate a person by the name Mr. Shur Ramanesh. More information is written on the back side of this letter. On the back side of this letter, you'll find information about Mr. Shur. I'm sorry if that's how, if your name's not pronounced that way. Um, my apologies. 
But it seems like I'm about to go murder you, so the Prince Nation is probably the least of your worries. As well as a map showing the path to his villa. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to my girlfriend. I better get in my car and find this weapon guy. Do you know what? Let's just go with it, sure. Let's go murder someone. But I am going to clean the table first. Screw the stains, I have to get to my car so they won't kill my girlfriend. Like, for real, they're going to kill your girlfriend or not? Damn, dude, you got a nice car. If you want to see more of my work, click on these links. To be continued. Ah! Oh, that was envelope. Um, short and sweet. I feel like that's a prelude to, um, to something. It did say there's parts like two and three coming soon. I feel like you should cut off the point after you've made the choice. Like... The point where it ended, it felt like there didn't seem to be any choice made, you know, like yes or no. You should go, yes, get in the car or no, go home. And then that's where you kind of end it. It seems to be promising and uh, I'd like to see what they do in the future. So uh, good stuff. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to play the game for yourself. And if you like the video, consider liking, subscribing and leaving a comment because it definitely helps the channel grow. And with that, I hope to see you again sometime soon. Take care.